Welcome back, boys and girls. This is Go Math, Grade 4, Lesson 3. Multiply two digit numbers, Lesson 3.5. Multiply with regrouping. All right, let's look at Lesson 3.5. Multiply with regrouping. Our essential question is how can you use regrouping to multiply two digit numbers? unlock the problem. By 1914, Henry Ford had streamlined, streamlined his assembly line to make a Model T Ford car in 93 minutes. How many minutes did it take to make 25 Model T cars? Well, we're going to use place value in regrouping. We're going to multiply 93 times 25, and we're going to do it over here. First, we're going to estimate 90 times 30, because 93 would be the 90, 25 would be the 30, and our estimate is going to be 2,700. Now, I want you to look over here. We're going to multiply the ones first, um, 3 times 5, 3 times 2, then we're going to multiply the tens, 9 times 5, 9 times 2. So let's start with the ones. All right, 5 times 3 is 15. I carry the 1. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. Look what I did. 3 times 5 is 15. Carried the 1. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. Now, here's the tricky part. I am now going to multiply by 10. And what I have to do is I have to put a 0 here underneath the 1s as a place marker. All right, I need to do that because I'm not I'm multiplying by ones anymore. I'm multiplying by 10. So now, um, 9 times 5 is 45. Cross that out because I'm not using that anymore. Put my 4 up there. 9 times 2 is 18, plus 4 is 22. Ah, come on, 2. So now I'm going to add. 5 plus 0 is 5, 7 plus 5 is 12, carry the 1, 2 plus 1 is 3, 2 plus nothing is 2, so my answer is 2,325. So, 93 times 25 is 2,325, and since 2,700 is close to the estimate of 2,325, the answer is reasonable. Let's look at how I did this again. 3 times 5 is 15, carry the 1. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. I put my 0 in for my placeholder because I'm now multiplying by 10s. 9 times 5 is 45, carry the 4. 9 times 2 is 18, plus 4 is 22. I add it all up, I get 2,000. 325. Different ways to multiply. All right, you can use different ways to multiply and still get the correct answer. Sean and Patty both multi solved 67 times 40 correctly, but they used different ways. Look at Sean's paper. He went, it's 67 times 40. He went 60 times 40 equals 2,400, 7 times 40 equals 280, 2,400 plus 280 equals 2,680, okay? Now, look at Patty's. Patty's just did it the way that we just did it. Um, the zeros, 0 times 7 is 0, 0 times 6 is 0. Look at that 0 right there. There's his placeholder, all right? And then he multiplied 4 times 7 is 28, carried the 2. 4 times 6 is 24, plus 2 is 26, 2680. So Patty also found 67 times 40 as 2680. Um, you tell me which way you thought was the easiest. I thought this was the easiest way. Um, this way here, this kind of confuses me because the question is 67, let me get this in there, times 40, okay? And what they did was they went 
60 times 40, right? And then they went 7, took the 7 times 40, okay? And then they multiplied those out and they added them. So um, I, I, per, I don't know. I like this way um, better, all right? For some reason, I do. But you do whatever um, way you feel most comfortable with. All right, let me erase that. It says, what, what method did Sean use to solve the problem? Well, Sean is here. Sean used placed value in mental math. Okay, he went 6 times 4 is 24 and added the two zeros is 2400. Then he went 7 times 40. He knows that 7 times 4 is 28 and he added the zeros um, 280. That's all he did. All right, and Patty used the place value in regrouping. All right, so now it says look at a look, look at the problem and complete the sentence. Multiply 0 and 27 and you get a 0. Multiply 60 and get 27, you get 1,620. Add the partial products. 0 plus 1,620 equals 1,620. And then they multiplied it out this way too. Okay, we're going to do three more and then you're going to do them on your own. It says estimate then find the product. Okay, I estimated 68 times 53 to be, to be 3,500. Look at how I did it. I said 68 is close to 70, 53 is close to 50. I said 7 times 5 is 35 and then I added those two zeros. All right, 3 times 8 is 24. I carry the 2, 6, let me, let me carry that 2 for you because I didn't put it there. Carry the 2, all right, 6 times 3 is 18 plus 2 is 20. You see how I got the 2 of, two, um, two of 4? Uh, 3 times 8 is 24, carry the 2, 3 times 6 is 18 plus 2 is 20. Now. I had to put the placeholder of the zero here, right? 5 times 8 is 40. Now I need to cross that 2 out, put my 4 there. All right. 5 times 6 is 30 plus 4 is 34. I add it up and I get 3,604, all right? Let's look at the next one. I'm going to estimate this to be 3,000. 61 is close to 60. 54 is close to 50. 6 times 5 is 30. I add those two zeros, I get 3,000. All right, 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 6 is 24. 5 times 1, oh, I had, to, I had to put the place value in there. I can't forget that. 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times 6 is 30. Add it up, I get 3,294. All right, let's look at this next one. I estimated it as 2,790. The, um, the uh, 90 and 27 is 30. So now 27 times 90, 0 times 7 is 0, 0 times 2 is 0. Put my placeholder in. 9 times 7 is 63. Carry the 6. 9 times 2 is 18 plus 6 is 24. Add it together, I get 2,000. 430. Now, it's your turn to do five, six, um, five, six, and seven. Do eight through 12, 13, 14, 
and 15. I want you to do 16, 17, 18, and 19. Then come back and we'll look at your answers. Okay, boys and girls, if you are in my class and you missed um, anything 5, 6, 7 through, what is that, 12, you need to get in touch with me, um, contact me so we can meet um, and go over this individually. All right, the estimate of 30 times 47 is 1,500. When you did the math out, you got 1,410. The estimate is 4,800. Your answer is 4,368. Your estimate is 900. Your answer is 625. If you missed one of those, go back and do it again. All right, here are your, here's your estimate. Here's your answer. Here's your estimate. Here's your answer. Estimate, answer, estimate, answer, estimate, answer. My class, if you missed any of those, go back and correct it. If you still don't understand what you're doing, contact me and I'll give you some help. All right, it says look for a pattern. All right, so we have H, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 minutes, M, 300, 300. 600, 900, it would be 1,200 and 1,500. And the rule is multiply N by 60. Okay. All right, 14. Um, the answer is 8,832. Owners of a summer camp are buying new cots for their cabin. There are 16 cabin. Each cabin needs six cots. The cots cost 92. How much will the new cots, cots cost? Well, you take 16 times 6, find that total, right? Then take the 6 times 92, find that total, add it together, $8,832. All right. A theater has 28 rows of 38 seats downstairs and 14 rows of 26 seats upstairs. How many seats does the theater have? 28 times 38, 14 times 26. Add those together and you'll get 1,428 seats. All right, let's look at 16. Machine A can label 11 bottles in one minute. Machine B can label 12 bottles in one minute. How many bottles can both machines label in 15 minutes? It says, uh, what do you need to know? I need to know how many bottles both machines can label in 15 minutes. What numbers will you use? I'll use 11, 12, and 15. Tell why you might use more than one operation to solve the problem. Well, after I multiply, I need to add to find the total number of bottles labeled by each, by both machines. So it'd be 11 times 15, 55, 110, 165. Okay, so both machines can label 345 bottles in 15 minutes. All right, 17, a toy company makes wooden blocks. A carton holds 85 blocks. How many blocks can 19 cartons hold? All right, it makes wooden blocks. There's 85 blocks. All right, how many blocks can a carton hold? Well, 85 times 19 is 1,615 blocks. Let's look at um, 18. A company is packing cartons of candles. Each carton can hold 75 candles. So far, 50 cartons have been packed, but only 30, 30 cartons have been loaded on a truck. How many more candles are left to load on the truck? All right. So, a little more complicated. A carton can hold 75 candles. So far, 50 cartons have been packed. So I'd have to take 50 times 75 candles to find out how many have been packed. 
but there's only 30 cartons so far. 30 times 75, find out that. 75 times 50, 75 times 30, subtract the two, and you're going to get 1,500 candles. All right, look at 19. Mr. Garcia's class raised money for a field trip to the zoo. There are 23 students in the class. The cost of the trip will be $17 for each student. What is the cost for all students? Explain. Well, the cost is $391. I used the expression 23 times 10 plus 23 times 7 to find the cost. 230 plus 161 is 391. Boys and girls, if you're in my class and you miss 17, 18, 19, I'm, I'm sorry, 14, 15, 17, 18, or 19, if you missed them, contact me. I want to go over it. I want to make sure that you understand what you needed to do. Um, to answer those questions. All right, here is your practice and homework, page 175 and 176. Um, my class, make sure you do it. Take a snapshot, send it to me. I'll grade it and get right back to you and let you know what you got right or wrong. Whatever you missed, I'll give you an opportunity to go back and correct it to help your grade. Okay, that is the end of lesson 3.5. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel at Awesome Possible Classroom 451. If you would like these worksheets, email me at awesomepossumclassroom at gmail.com. I will send you the link. Have a great day, um, and I'll see you in the next lesson.